What's up Deckers, welcome to another Steam Deck News video. In today's video we have an update to Proton GE. We also have an update to Proton Experimental. We have an awesome new deck you load the plugin. Finally looks like Ghost of Tsushima might be run to issues when they release next week. It's an awesome Steam Deck compatibility app made by Steam Deck Gaming. This app is awesome so we'll cover that here. If you like what we do here and you like to support us, consider being a Decker for Life member to where you get a shout out at the beginning of every video. With that being said, let's get right into this news. So first in news, we have an update to Proton GE. This one titled Proton GE 9-5 and with this we have a lot of fixes to a lot of games as you can see here Oddworld got fixed. We have another fix to Total Wars. So again check out this list and if the games that you play interest you check this update out. This is a Proton experimental update and with this update it does make some games now playable games like Apex Legends and with this it also brings some other fixes to other games as you can see here improved controller support for Tower Princess so again check out this list if the games that you play are in here definitely check it out one of my favorite steam deck utility of all time non-steam launcher finally got a deck you load the plugin and this plugin is absolutely incredible i will be doing a dedicated video here what this plugin does but if you guys don't know anything about non-steam launch it's a way to pretty much get any launcher on your Steam Deck with ease and this process makes it even easier with a click of a button through Deck you load the plugin and it also has some features like remote play as well so again I'll be going in depth with this one so if you guys want to see what that looks like definitely stick around for that. Well it looks like Sony just cannot catch a PR break we heard previously that they were trying to get you to use your PSN ID for Hell Diver, and a lot of people complained about that and Sony seemed to have changed their mind but it looks like with the new release of Ghost of Tsushima launching next week that you actually are going to need to use your PSN ID to play this game but it's only for the online portion it looks like you should be fine without needing it for the single player campaign but it looks like Sony is really pushing this PSN ID thing and it seems like the PC gamers are just not having it but let me know what are your thoughts about this in the comments below lastly steam deck gaming just launched an awesome app this is a mobile app but with this app you can see awesome stuff like the top 100 steam deck compatible games here you can see the top 100 steam deck verified games here you can also see the top 100 steam deck playable games here and most recently released games for the steam deck so again this is a great companion app I'll post the link in the description to where you guys can download it for iOS or Android. But yeah, I feel like if you own the Steam Deck, this is a great companion app to own for your mobile devices as well. Alright fellas, that's all we have for you guys. Let us know what are your thoughts on the news below. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.